Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. A dwindling police force and a spike in shootings have Syracuse police grappling with how to do more with less. And it's not just affecting the officer on the street or victims of violence either, right? Jeff, when police are dealing with the big stuff, priority calls like shootings, stabbings, the president of the Syracuse Police Union tonight says it's call waiting for others needing help with crimes like car break-ins or noise complaints. May 24th, just before 6 in the evening, Syracuse police are called to the west side. Katrina squad reported stabbing. A 13-year-old girl stabbed, becoming the second teen homicide victim in less than a week. Police are reporting stab wounds to the left side. The crime drawing a huge police response. 4101, 4102, your status. 20 officers as pressing emergencies and violent crime should. But what happens to those less serious calls? Response time slips. I found a number of calls, suspicious vehicles, harassments, loitering, okay? Calls that waited for four, five, nine hours before the police were able to respond. We took a closer look at the backlog in a 12-hour period that same day. Leaving callers waiting for hours or even the next day for an officer to arrive with complaints getting stuck in the queue. 610, a suspicious vehicle complaint. An officer didn't respond until the next day at 3.32 a.m. A dispute at 6.13 p.m. got an 11.57 p.m. response. A half hour later, 6.44 p.m., a domestic incident with an officer getting to that scene at 11.33 p.m. A loitering call at 7.34 p.m. was answered hours later at 11.53 p.m. And a harassment call coming in at 8.01 answered at 11.36 p.m. And in the next hour between 8 and 9 p.m., calls for larceny and loud noise answered the next day to 22 a.m. and 12.58 a.m. So as our members are being taken to these violent incidents to address the rest of the community is affected because we don't have enough cops to address these quality of life issues. A depleted force has police struggling to respond quickly to what many might consider less dire situations. If you're calling 911, clearly your issue is important to you and you want it addressed in a timely manner. And we understand that. But we have been, our resources have been pulled to an extent um, where it's it's, it's nearly impossible to respond in an appropriate amount of time. Syracuse police constantly looking for new recruits, but find it difficult to hire enough to outpace the number of retirements. The PBA president continuing the drumbeat for more officers to better response times and help maintain trust in police. You know, and speed with which officers arrive can be crucial factors in catching the criminals, reducing injuries, and then there's just the emotional residents in communities where stories of a long wait for police can spread quickly.